Okay, so I decided to do a one in one out video, which basically means that for every item you purchase, you throw out one item. It's kind of like a minimalism, not rule, but like a concept or whatever within minimalism that prevents you from ending up with too many things. And it basically, even if you want to buy something new, you have to get rid of something old so that the amount of items that you have don't increase. And yeah, basically that's what I want to do with my clothes today. So let's get started. So these are pretty much all of my clothes except for what's in the laundry box or laundry basket, which is mainly socks and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to go through that too, of course. But yeah, let's get started. Actually, I have less than I thought, but also more than I thought. I don't know how that logic works. Okay, things that are that I don't want I, are going to go on the... So for jeans, after a while they start, the color starts to like wash out of the fabric, as you can see. And that also means that they're gonna get thrown out. It's kind of okay, but as you can see, it has some pilling on it and that means that it's goodbye. And these shorts too, I bought them because I wanted to exercise. But as you can see, the white part is like, it's now gray. Yeah, I really should separate my clothes when I wash it. A random lace or string, I don't know. I bought this turtleneck, but I didn't like the material. It feels cheap, so goodbye. Bathrobe that I don't like the material of. Two unopened sports things. I don't even know what these are for under the shorts when you're playing some kind of sport. Um, I feel like the legs might be too short. Obviously, I don't have a use for them. And I don't want stuff lying around that I'm not using because I don't know when I'll ever get to use it. If I haven't used it up until now, chances are I won't be using it in the future either. So that's my logic. And if I do need it, I'll just repurchase it. Oh, this is like, it's not a rash guard, but it feels like the same material for like when you're swimming. I don't know, I don't really need this either. Unopened socks. This hoodie has served me very well, but as you can see, it has a lot of pilling. I've worn it a ton, mostly at home, but I think I'm gonna let it go so I can make room for something new. I mean, a new hoodie that's exactly the same. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Another unopened item. These are like wrist one 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 wrist thing oh this is kind of nice i kind of like it maybe i can wear it when i'm drawing i don't know how that makes sense but i'm gonna keep this i'm not gonna get rid of that a belt that came with my jacket that i've never used Okay, so here we go, the final result. I might throw out these shorts, but if I throw them out, then I don't have any pajamas, so for now, I can't get rid of them. And everything else is, that is it, except for like underwear, which I don't wanna show, cause it's, that's weird, so yeah. But this is the extent of my wardrobe, apart from what I'm wearing right now. So we have three new turtlenecks and then one I'm wearing. My jeans and what is this, a turtleneck. Oh, so I have like, oh wait, the one I'm wearing I'm also gonna get rid of. Okay, four turtlenecks, gloves, a bunch of new socks. I'm not gonna take these labels off until I wear them because I like the feeling of like opening new socks. It's kind of like a refreshing feeling. Skiing goggles, all of this is like sportswear. Then shorts for the summer, two scarves, a t-shirt, a shirt, my cat, and then two of these kind of jackets, and then like a skiing jacket. And let's just see here what I got rid of. So these are the clothes that I'm getting rid of. 
four bags. One of them is like, there's almost nothing in it. It's just for the stuff that I hadn't unpacked or whatever, like the, the things that were totally new. I don't really know what to do with it. So I'm just gonna put it there and then ask the people in like the trash room what I'm supposed to do with donation clothes or whatever. But yeah, the rest is stuff that I'm getting rid of. This one's pretty full. This one is like not really that full. And then this one. Yeah, so all in all, I kind of got rid of a lot. Yeah, I feel a little bit refreshed. It's kind of nice. Minimalist wardrobe. So this is what it looks like now. Down here is like the winter gear. You can't really see, it's too dark. So basically that's it. It only takes up one shelf and then this like warm thing. And then down here, I already had the system in place, but it's for the clothes that I wear every day, not sports clothes or something like that. So in the first one is clean clothes. The next one is like clothes that I've worn, but that don't need to get washed yet. And this one is socks and underwear clean. And this one is everything dirty just gets thrown into this one. So yeah, I just have like four, what are these boxes, drawers, and that's my system. Oh, and just in case you want to see what it looks like, it's basically just like this. So this is like a turtleneck that I've worn once, but it's still clean enough. I can wear it again. And here's a few towels and a clean t-shirt. Let's admire this once again. Yeah, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video and there are still a few items that I want to buy and thus have to get rid of some of my current possessions in order to make room for that. But um, basically, yeah, I got rid of a ton of stuff even though I didn't have that much to begin with. So all in all, I feel like, you know, it was a successful venture today. I probably will go through my other possessions and maybe I'll film the process of getting rid of that too. Yeah, so basically that's it. That being said, I was able to get rid of a lot of clothes today really fast, really easy because I've done it so many times before. So I'm kind of like honed into the process. The first few times I did it, I had a lot more clothes that I wasn't using and it was a lot more time consuming for me to go through it. Today's process, I guess it took around half an hour to maybe one hour because I also had to film it and I had to like figure out how to position the camera and stuff like that, but it was very quick. The first few times I did it, I was actually following the KonMari method. Well, I was doing that today too, but now it's sort of like ingrained in my subconscious how to do it. But the first few times I did it, I was actually looking through the book and doing it in like the right order and everything like that, just because I had so many more clothes back then compared to now. Um, the first time I think that I got rid of clothes was probably two, either two or three years ago. And yeah, it's like a process where you kind of get better and better at getting rid of things in general. Uh, this is part one, I would say, of a series of me just maybe showcasing myself getting rid of stuff and like my life on the path towards minimalism. Although I don't want to go completely minimal, I still want, you know, basically I don't want it to become bothersome. I want enough stuff that my life is um, pleasant and enjoyable, but I don't want so many items or so many things that it starts sort of like just clogging up my I don't know, physical and mental headspace. Yeah, physical space and mental headspace. Um, so basically it's like a process of finding the sweet spot in the middle. Um, and I guess it's like a lifelong journey. I don't really know. Anyway, um, this was the first video. I will probably post more in the future. Also, maybe I'll find some old footage of me getting rid of like things before because I did take a lot of pictures back then just because I was so impressed with like how much I really got rid of and how much I actually had to begin with. But that is something we're saving for the future and definitely not for today. So that is it for this time. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.